Hey scholars, good to be back with you. In today's lesson I want to go over how to use fmin search. This is the simplest of the optimization routines in the MATLAB optimization toolbox. And today we'll just start with functions of one variable. In another video I'll go to two or more variables. Now if you're new to this, optimization is the, the mathematical process of finding the minimum value of a function. And the, if you're a little new to the lingo, the thing you're trying to maximize or minimize um, usually you minimize. If you want to maximize, you just minimize the negative. So all optimization routines are written in terms of minimization. But the thing you're trying to minimize is called the objective function. And the variables you use to describe that function are called the design variables. Um, sometimes there are constraints. There are limits on the solution. Fmin search is for unconstrained problems. The nice thing about Fmin search is you don't need any derivative information. So if you've got a function but you don't know what its derivative is, or you don't want to bother to figure it out, fmin search will still work. So for the example, we're going to need a real simple objective function. In practical problems, the objective function can sometimes be pretty complicated. For this one, we're just going to use a fourth order polynomial. I got it out of the uh, appendix of the, the, my book. This is uh, Fundamentals of Optimization. This is the one I use for my optimization class. Um, if you are at a university and you have access to your university library, your library may have a contract with Springer, the publisher of that book. If they do, chances are you can get the book for free. And I'm guessing free is a price you can live with. So we're going to need a, uh, I'm going to get my marker here. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to need a simple objective function. I just picked a fourth order polynomial. It doesn't have any physical significance, but once you get, you figure out how to use this function, you can select your own uh, objective function, something that's uh, a little more meaningful to you. But this is good for a less, uh, simple lesson here. So there's f or x, there's f of x. So this is the objective function. There, I'll get that out in my head out of your way. That's the objective function. And x, that's the design variable. And again, in this problem, we've only got one design variable, so it's, it's pretty simple. And this plot, that where you plot the objective function against your design variables, is called design space. In this case, design space only has two dimensions, because you only got one uh, design variable, but it can have any number of dimensions. It's nice to do these one variable problems, because they're easy to draw a picture of. There's pretty much what the objective function looks like. An x star, that star means that's the minimum. Now, you see that notation a lot. Oh. 959. Nine. Okay? So there's we know pretty much what this looks like and we know there's the there's the minimum. So we want uh, Fmin search to find that. The one thing about um, really almost all uh, minimization functions, especially the ones in MATLAB, is they need a starting place. You need to tell them where to start. They don't know anything about your problem, so you have to tell them where you want them to start looking. That initial guess doesn't have to be very good. But as they search through design space, and most of the methods out there are search methods, um, they need to know where to start looking. Well, if you knew exactly where to start looking, you wouldn't have a problem. You wouldn't need to run fmin search. So let's just say initial guess is zero. All right, initial guess is x, x, x is zero. Uh, terrible guess, but that doesn't matter. fmin search is going to look through. Uh, design space and it's going to find the minimum for us. So with this all set up, let's switch over to MATLAB and I'll show you how it works. Okay, I've loaded MATLAB now and I'm using release 2015A. Uh, their years may be more recent than mine, but that doesn't matter. It should work the same. When it uh, loads up, boots up, I get these different panes in my uh, MATLAB window. Uh, these are default in this version. If yours is different, it might be because you have a different version, or you may have changed the layout. If you want to change the layout, you can do that right there and set it up however you want it. But here's the, the folder I'm in. There's the, the files that are in that folder. Here's the workspace we'll be using, and there's the command history. And you can see I was kind of practicing here before I started the screen capture. Okay, first thing we need to do is uh, define our objective function. Well, I want to go over here and just double click there. So there it is. I won't type it in again. So there's our objective function. And let's look at the syntax here for a second. F is going to be the name of the function. You can see it right over there. That ampersand 
tells MATLAB something very specific. It says this is a function. This is not a list of numbers. MATLAB originally meant, meant matrix laboratory, and it was originally designed to work with lists and blocks of numbers, vectors and matrices. Well, it's expanded hugely since then. It's much, much more sophisticated than it was in the early days. And it can now work with functions that don't have a list of numbers associated with them yet. Now, if I want to use the plot command, plot really does require a list of numbers. Easy plot, a different command, doesn't. Easy plot can uh, plot a function for me, an, an anonymous function. I'm going to use this syntax right here. I'm going to use the name of the function, which is f, and I'm going to define the x range. We already know that the minimum is at 7.0959. So if I set a range from 0 to 10, that sounds about right. That should work. And there it is. It worked. But what's all this orange stuff? Well, this orange stuff is a warning. Text in orange is a warning, which means your, your command ran, although there's something MATLAB would like to tell you about it, maybe to speed it up or to avoid potential problems. Text in red is an error. Error means it probably didn't run at all or didn't run to completion. So what it's telling me is this one says vectorizing the function may speed up its evaluation. What's vectorizing mean? Well, When I type this in, I just treated x uh, as a scalar. I didn't treat it as a list of numbers because I don't have a list of numbers yet. Well, to plot, it needs to generate a list of numbers internally. So what I can do is I can slightly change my uh, the way I define the objective function. I'm going to go over here and double click on this uh, Thing that I had typed in before. And the only difference is those little dots there. Well, in order to make this plot, MATLAB has to evaluate x at a bunch of points. When it does that, it's going to make a list. And MATLAB knows several different ways to multiply lists of numbers, and you may too. There's dot products and cross products. One of the others is to work on the lists one element at a time. Multiply the first numbers of the list together or square it or take it to the fourth power or something and then do do that with the second element and the third element and the fourth element so if you put a list of numbers in you get a list of numbers out and that's what that dot means that that tells it to vectorize the multiplication and it's going to run faster so let's recall my easy plot command type in e, just ez and i'm going to hit the up arrow so it pulls up the last command that started with ez there it is Bang! There, it, it finished right away, and there's no warning uh, text in there. By vectorizing the input, it ran a little faster, and MATLAB didn't feel like it needed to warn me about anything. We can look, and there's the minimum right there, so 7.0959 is certainly the right answer. Always good to draw a picture to make sure you've got the objective function right. Last thing I need to do now is type in fmin search and hit that. The, uh, left parenthesis. Here's the possible syntaxes, and I'm going to use this one up here. I'm going to define the function, which is f, use its name right there, and I have to give it a starting point. Well, it doesn't know what starting point to use, and let's pretend I don't know either, so I'm going to purposely give it one that isn't very good. I'm going to have it start at zero, and there's the answer. As fast as I can hit return, there it is. Okay, so there we've got it. We've defined a simple objective function. Uh, done a plot of it and used fminsearch to find its minimum. Hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.